Welcome back. It's the first day of school for thousands of kids in the Sioux Falls School District. Kelly Lance Claire Lavazorio is live at Laura Wilder with a look at new safety measures in place to put parents at ease. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Sophie. In just about an hour, students, staff, and visitors will head through the doors behind me here at Laura Wilder Elementary. But now who gets through these doors is under extra scrutiny. From a visitor perspective, you probably aren't going to notice anything too different. But from an administrator's perspective, it makes the world of a difference. We say this all the time and we mean it. Uh, safety is our number one priority and we're always looking to uh, improve uh, the safety in our school. Superintendent Dr. Brian Maher says this year there's an added level of security upon check-in at every school throughout the district. Bob Bray, the district's risk manager, showed me how it works. While visitors used to sign into a school with just a pen and paper, now their ID will search their name through 10 criminal databases. You'll hand the receptionist your license and keys and then wait for the background check to go through. We want to start out running, so to speak, ensuring that we have a safe and secure learning environment for our children, first of all, but also for our employees and visitors who come uh, quite regularly. If you pass, you'll get a badge to wear and must return the badge before getting your ID and keys back. Bray, who has a background in emergency management, says this is a proactive approach to safety. Provides us with much more uh, information uh, and ensuring that those who we allow access to our children uh, are uh, who we should be allowing access. And the first step to avoiding problems before they happen. And we're always looking to uh, improve uh, the safety in our schools. The background check only takes a couple of seconds, and places like Sanford and Avera hospitals already use this upon check in. What types of things are the system looking for, Claire? Sophie, while well, all criminal records will be pulled up, including divorce papers and even custody papers, and again, if you do not pass this background check, the highest level of administration will decide how to proceed. Reporting live at Laura Wilder Elementary, I'm Claire Lavazorio, Kelloland News.